What's up, YouTube? Uh, I just have seen this a couple times on Reddit and a few places lately, just what people are doing with um, some stuff with async. I'll quote async uh, from libuv. You can check out some info about that. Um, you can read the libuv docs or you can check it out uh, in here, but you'll see people doing this, this little thing here and I, I think they think that this is a trick. So you can do something like um, so first we'll just set up uv as vim.loop doesn't really do anything. We're going to make this async handle, which is a really particular thing. I mean, something very, very particular. And what, what, what I tend to see is something like this. Okay. I'm going to do uv new async, and then I'm going to pass some function here. Maybe we'll schedule wrap this, which people also don't, I think, understand what this means. And then we'll do something inside here, like maybe print yo, hello and then they'll close this. And so then what they think is if they do this, watch this, you know, I can put print, you know, first, and then we'll print this. And then afterwards it prints the hello, right? So first and then yo, hello. Oh, you're like, wow, cool, that's cool. It happens off thread, it happens in a new thread. It says async, that must mean that it's async. No, that's not what this does at all. NeoVim structure is that it's an event loop. Parses new messages than things inside the event loop and then attempts to handle each of those things inside of the event loop, right? Each of the events. That's what it does. The other has one, re read it, just this many, this many threads to execute on. So when it's doing CPU things, you're going to execute in this thread. And here's how I can prove it. Let's do something like this uv.sleep 1000. This will sleep for one second. So if I run this and I try and um, move my cursor up and down, right? I won't be able to do that during this time. Uh, so let's, we'll get rid of this just to show what's going on here. And when I press K, I'm not moving and then it stops, right? See, so this actually is getting run on this thread. So this is not helpful at all in the case of like making computation or CPU bound tasks get moved to some other thread. You're actually not doing that at all. You're just delaying it to some later time in your execution. So for example, if you put a bunch of things inside of some function here and then run it, then it will just uh, run that later in your startup. It'll just run it on the next tick that the event loop is free effectively. This is doubly compounded when you do something like this with vim.schedule wrap, because what this does is this actually just says, hey, please run this function later on the event loop. Uh, because this async can get run on libuv's event loop, which might not be a okay time to execute certain things inside of NeoVim. Maybe we're in the middle of a text edit or we're applying some new things or we're currently reading a file. Those aren't times that you're actually allowed to evaluate those things. So my advice to people who are trying to do this is that this doesn't provide you any benefits at all, except that it messes with your startup and you think that something's going faster async, but it's actually not. And so it makes it just harder to profile. You're going to get weird startup bugs. Like, Oh, I have to reopen a file twice before it's ready because there's random things still waiting to happen, etc. Um, you're not actually saving the seven milliseconds that you think you're saving. When you do this, you're actually just losing those. Okay. So this is not what this structure is for at all. It's actually to create a handle that can be passed between actual threads so that you could send when you want something to execute. And if you read through libuv's docs about what this does, you'll see actually that async send will sort of coalesce these different calls. So this is what is good for this. If you had a multiple thread and you just wanted to run this once, you could use this to communicate back and forth. But this is not a helpful method for doing anything to uh, make your code async or run in multiple threads. That's not this at all. Anyways, that's it. I love you all. Bye.